Hi there, this is Haney, and I'm excited to talk to you and introduce you to the new MindRay TEX, coming soon to the UH and EMH emergency departments. First, we'll talk about machine basics. Here is what the machine looks like. You'll see that there's a large screen interface, a basket in the front, and most importantly, your power button is going to be located on the right side of the screen here. The ultrasound probes are housed in these small little pockets located above the machine. You'll notice there's a linear, phased array, and a curvilinear probe attached here. Just be mindful when putting the probes in that it is fully seated in the pocket so that it does not drop on the floor. You'll also see this one here is quite deeper. This is for the endocavitary probe. Next, we'll talk about adjusting the machine height. There's a small little click bar that you're going to press and hold here and then raise or lower the machine at the height you wish to use it at. One cool feature is that this machine also can be used in either the vertical or horizontal landscape. So to switch it from one to the other, you're going to simply just rotate the screen. To charge the machine, there's this retractable cord on the back of the machine. Pull it, and to get rid of the cord, you're going to do a gentle pull, and it'll tuck back in. Please make sure that you charge the machine by plugging it into the wall whenever you're done using it to ensure that it's fully charged for the next user. We'll now talk about entering in patient information. On the bottom left side of the screen, you'll see this patient button here. Start by clicking that and that'll pull up the worksheet. Really important is the patient's medical record number is gonna go under this patient ID field. Click the X to delete the information that's in there and then enter in the patient's MRN. Scrolling down, you'll see a few different options here, but your HealthLink ID is gonna go under the operating user here. And if you're the one performing the scan, this is where your information will go in. The attending or the supervising user will go under the referring physician button here. And then when you're done, you're gonna click done and say yes, you wish to change the patient information. Now on this screen, you'll see the patient's MRN is at the top of the screen here, and the operator's health link ID is also listed at the top of the screen here. So super important, the information that's needed to save the exam and to get credit for the exam is the patient's MRN, which goes under the patient ID field, your Citrix ID, which goes under the operator field, and the supervising physician's which goes under the referring physician field. Pay attention to where the operator and the referring physician fields are because depending on the exam that you're doing, they may move to different locations on the worksheet. We'll now talk about depth, gain, and how to scan. So here is the home screen. So to switch between probes, you're gonna click this probe button here. To save a still image, you're gonna click this little camera icon. To save a video clip, you're gonna press this camcorder button here. To adjust the gain, you have the gain on the far right upper corner. And to adjust the depth, it's a little bit grayed out here, but depth will be right beneath the gain button here. To take any measurements, you'll see the measure button at the top left. So here is again, Miko demonstrating how to save a clip. He presses the camcorder and you'll see that this icon turned blue and it's set to save a six second clip. You'll see on the right side of the screen, the various clips and stills that you're taking that are saving in real time. To freeze, click the snowflake. And if you wanted to take a measurement, your caliper buttons are here. You'll drag and drop. You'll click where you want the first caliper to go, and then you'll click once you want the second caliper to go, and you'll see your measurement here. Next, we'll talk about how to review images. So if you did want to review an image, you'll simply click on the image on the right side of the screen here. To get back home, you're going to press the B button there. To adjust the gain, you're going to click on the little bar and drag it either up or down, depending on how you want to adjust your gain. You can also click on the arrows, and same goes for the depth. You can either drag and drop, or you can click on the arrows to adjust your depth. Now we'll talk about eye touch. This is an auto gain feature. So to turn it on, you're going to press it once. To turn it off, you're going to press and hold, and that will essentially adjust your gain as you're scanning. To annotate, you're going to click annotate at the top right of the screen. There are some pre-populated things here, but to open up the keyboard, click that keyboard icon, and then label the image however you want. Now we'll talk about color. To turn on color Doppler, you're going to click this color button here. You can adjust the size of the gate by dragging and dropping over a corner. And you can move the gate around by dragging your finger and moving the box around the screen. Now we'll talk about zooming. You can pinch in to zoom in on the structure, and you can pinch out to zoom out of the structure. We'll talk about M mode. M mode is this button on the far right corner here. Press it once, it gives you a line. Press the M again to activate the M mode. To enter full screen, simply swipe down. To exit out of full screen, you're going to click this icon here. And then to switch between probes, you're going to press the probe button on the bottom left, and that'll pull up the different probes and the different exam types. Once you select an exam type, 
click it once and then give it a second and it'll switch over for you. Now we'll talk about ending the exam. So after you're done scanning, you're gonna press end exam here. You'll say, yes, you wanna end the current exam. And then to review the exam or to see that it is pushed to QPath, you can click on this iStation button down here. This will pull up all of the exams that are currently on the machine. You're gonna widen out this storage complete icon here. And it'll say sending to PACS completed once the exam has been pushed to QPath. While the machine says sending to PACS completed, it's important to note that it's not actually sending the image to the patient's PACS. It's sending to QPath. So you still have to enter in QPath E and push the image itself to PACS if you want it to go into the patient chart. Last, to clean the machine, the approved wipes are located on the back of the machine. This can be used on all of the probes as well as the screen. Very important. Don't use bleach on the screen as it can lead to damage. That's all we have. For any questions, reach out to Haney or Sarah and happy scanning.